Well, here we are. It's 1998, and the Chicago Bulls are making a run for their fourth straight NBA championship. Everybody decided to stay together for one more year. Bill Jackson came back. Michael Jordan came back. Scottie Pippen. But who's going to challenge this team? Who's going to keep this team from winning a fourth straight title and a seventh title in nine years? Well, out east, Reggie Miller and the Indiana Pacers. They took the 98 Bulls to seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals, so you better believe that they're going to be a, a pretty big-time challenge for the Chicago Bulls. Then you got an up-and-coming Allen Iverson, future MVP. He's the number one pick in the 1996 NBA Draft. You better believe him and his uh, young team are going to be gunning for the Eastern Conference title. Then out west, you got the defending two-time Western Conference champions, the Utah Jazz, Carl Malone, Greg Ostertag, John Stockton. They're all back with Jerry Sloan as the head coach to make one more run. Then Charles Barkley with the Houston Rockets along with Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. Hakeem's won two NBA titles this decade. He's trying to make it a third. And then you got the up and coming San Antonio Spurs led by former MVP David Robinson and the number one pick in the 1997 NBA draft, Tim Duncan. Now this Spurs team did actually win the 1999 NBA title. Let's see if they can give the Bulls a run for their money in this simulation. And then out in Los Angeles, you got the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, leading the way for the purple and gold. I think they have a good shot at winning the West as well. And they have this guy, Kobe Bryant, I think is his name. I don't know. He's a young guy. is isn't really proven yet, but he's a pretty good player. They may make some noise out in the Western Conference. And then you got Jason Kidd, one of the greatest passers of all time, Phoenix Suns. And finally, you got the upstart Sacramento Kings, led by Chris Webber, Peja Stoyakovich, and White Chocolate Jason Williams. This is going to be a fun season. Let's see if the Bulls can win their fourth straight. What's going on, Clay and Fan? Back at it again with some more NBA 2K. 23 I know it's been a while since I made a video been working on this one it's been hard I mean I've been trying to throw together a roster for this last dance thing that I'm trying to do um, so it's been hard that's why it's taken so long for me to do this video um, I've been putting out trailers and stuff just kind of as a little teaser um, so we're gonna have we're gonna have fun with this now I will say this this is the 1998-99 season, but we have some issues. So 2K doesn't let us, in my eras, just skip to a certain season. I wish they would. It would make it a lot easier to do certain things like this. So what I really wanted to do was, I wanted to skip to the 98-99 season. I can't do that. Now if I wanted to skip to the 2002 season and start there, I could do that, but that's not, that's not what the, the goal is here. Another issue I have is 2K for some reason is making a lot of uh, a lot of guys like rostered, you know, just made up players. They're making a lot of these players, and it kind of takes away from the experience. So let me just show you. Like there are just so many of these like roster players that are, that are made up in this you know, fake roster that they've come up with. And it's just annoying. Like, there's there's so many of them. It's like, 2K doesn't need to do that. Just create rosters the way they should be. Now, like I said, I did go through here and try to make a lot of these as realistic as I could. Um, some of these teams are going to have more players than others. So, like, Ben Washburn. Ben Washburn doesn't exist. Zach Carney doesn't exist. Peter Wash... I mean, there, there are a ton of guys on here that aren't real players so that is gonna affect the simulation a little bit a lot of these teams though I, I did I did as well as I possibly could so so big teams like the Lakers the Miami Heat the Chicago Bulls teams like those um, I got as many real players on them as I could 
But unfortunately, a lot of these teams are going to have a lot of roster players. So hopefully things will change as we continue with this simulation. Um, I'm just going through right now. I did find a Reggie Miller on uh, online creations. His age, for some reason, says 37. I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go in and change that. The other thing is 2K, as great as they did with... Um, we're going to just change his birth year because he's, he's not that old at this point. 1998, he would have been... Yeah, he wouldn't. I don't. I don't think Reggie was 37 years old in 1998. Um, 2K did do a great job with you know changing certain things. Once a season ends and a team needs a new arena or a new jersey or a new logo, on some of them they did really great, but on some of them they did really bad. Just like the the Indiana Pacers here, the Indiana Pacers. Let's just look at this. In 1998-99, they were not wearing these jerseys. They were they were not wearing the Flojo jerseys anymore. They had the, the pinstripe jerseys, the blue, the yellow, and the white pinstripe jerseys. So again, there are going to be some things in here that aren't exact. We're just going to have to roll with it. I also found Charles Barkley. I thought that was awesome. So we got Shaq, Jason Kidd with the Suns. Shaq and Kobe are they're going to be running rough shot, I feel like. Kevin Garnett, Allen Iverson, Michael Jordan, Alonzo Mourning, Reggie Miller, Charles Barkley, David Robinson, Scottie Pippen, Tim Duncan, Jamal Mashburn, Carl Malone, Larry Johnson, Penny Hardaway, Steve Nash, Tim Hardaway, Ben Baker, Dikembe, Christian Leitner, Patrick Ewing, Antonio McDice, Ray Allen. So basically, you get the gist of it. We got we got a lot of good players in here. Um, like I said, there there's a lot of guys that are missing. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I could download a roster and just start from there, but 2K does not give me that option. So we're just going to roll with it, see what happens. I mean, I, I did I did get as many players on here and in their correct positions as I possibly could. So if it, if it sucks a little bit, I do apologize, but I tried my best. Um, so let's jump on into it. And let's see if the Chicago Bulls, let's take a look at their roster real quick. Let's see if this roster can win another NBA championship. This would be their fourth in a row. Seven and nine years. Will anybody put up a fight? Dennis Rodman's 41 years old. Um, so we got Jordan for a two-year, $20 million contract. Scotty, we probably need to re-sign. Dennis, one year, 930K. Tony Kukoc, we got locked up. So, I mean, there's... There's some wiggle room here. We might be able to uh, maybe pull off some free agents at the end of the season. We'll see. Scottie Pippen wants to test free agency. So does Ron Harper. Okay, so this is just like real life. Scottie did want to test free agency, which he ended up doing. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll with this team. I mean, if 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 we can't re-sign Scottie, then we can't re-sign him. There's no reason to uh, to break this thing up right now. This is the last dance. Another last dance. So we got to see what happens. Okay, so the season is over. Shaq wins your MVP. That doesn't surprise me, averaging 29 and 14. Dirk wins your Rookie of the Year, even though he looks 40 years old in that picture. Tony Kukoc wins Sixth Man of the Year. Nice. Alonzo Mourning, Defensive Player of the Year. Tim Duncan, Most Improved. Brad Nelson with the New York Knicks. Gary Samuels with the LA Lakers. Here's your All-NBA first team, no Chicago Bulls. All-NBA second team, no Chicago Bulls. All-NBA third team, no Chicago Bulls. What is going on here? All right, so the Knicks are the one seed, and they actually made the finals in the 1998-99 season. I will say this, lockout shortened season, so... I, I mean, they were, they were an eight seed that season, and they still made the NBA finals, so... Um, this is why I say. This is why I tell people. You know what? There is no way that the Bulls weren't going to win the title in '99. Because a, the Knicks wouldn't even have been in the playoffs because the Bulls would have moved into that spot. I mean, you give the Bulls. The Bulls would have only had to play what 50 games. Give me a break, man. Give me a break. Man. All right, so we play the New Jersey Nets. Let's see who they got on their squad. Kendall Gill, George Mirasong, Keith Van Horn, Kerry Kittles, David Vaughn, Chris Gatling, 
Earl Boykins, Jason Williams, Ronnie Cycli, Sam Cassell, and then a bunch of no-name guys. All right, so game one goes to us. No surprise there. Game two goes to them. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to them. Game five goes to us. All right, so the, the Nets somehow took us to five games. That's fine. So the Eastern Conference semifinals, Knicks and Heat, huge rivalry in the late 90s. So that's pretty sweet. And then we got the Hawks. Who do they have on their squad? Um, let's go take a look at their team real quick. The Kimbe, Christian Leitner, Steve Smith, Grant Long, Desmond Bull. So they got a bunch of Tyrone Corbin. He's real. Um, so they got a bunch of nobodies. Cherokee Parks. We should be good here. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Get, sweep them. Let's go. All right, so who are we going to be playing? Who are we going to be playing? Who are we going to be playing? Oh, my God. All right, here we go. The Knicks and the Bulls. This is this is pretty cool because this is actually, you know, everybody talks, well, the Knicks made the finals in 99. They would have beat the Bulls. Well, let's find out. Let's look at their roster. Larry Johnson, Allen, yeah, I mean, Marcus Camby, Patrick Ewing, Charlie Ward, Kurt Thomas, Latrell Sprewell. Bruno Russell. Hmm. And they got Chris Dudley. They, they got Chris Dudley sitting on the bench. I guess they don't want, uh, they're scared of Shaq Duncan on them, probably. All right, game one, we win. Game two, we win. We take home court advantage. They win one. All right, so we should be good here. There we go. We're in the NBA Finals. All right, here we go. We're playing the LA Lakers. So this is the matchup everybody wanted to see. A young Kobe against Jordan who is kind of getting out of his prime. So Phil Jackson, you know, left the Bulls, went to the Lakers. The Lakers ended up winning three championships. So this right here, this is the perfect match. This is the matchup that we wanted. Now, you could say, well, we wanted the Spurs. You know, we wanted to see Bulls versus Spurs. Spurs didn't even make the playoffs in the simulator for some reason. Not sure how, but it is what it is. But this is the matchup that I actually really, truly wanted to see. I don't care about the Spurs. The Spurs won a championship in a lockout season. Didn't win a championship again for four more years when the Lakers were at each other's throats. So let's see it. We got a prime Lakers team against a Bulls team that is getting older, obviously, and is coming off of, you know, their last dance season. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to use or control anybody. We're just going to simulate through SimCast, and we're probably going to jump in these games real quick if we get the chance. So game one is in Los Angeles. Lakers are kind of pulling away here. All right, we got a close game. I, I want all these games to be relatively close. I don't want them to be blowouts by any means. All right, so the Bulls come back. They're up five. They're up seven. Damn. Bulls put it on them towards the end of the game. Outscored them 38 to 16 in the fourth quarter. The Bulls win game one. Do, do some more uh, simulating. I will say, I do keep simulator difficulty on 50, so that has not been messed with. Um, so again, we got a really close game. Let's let's hop in here. And I am going to do this real fast. Um, choose sides. I'm not going to be on a side. We're just going to let this thing play out. I'm going to try to change, we're going to try to change the camera here. We're going to make the camera, we'll do broadcast. Uh, we'll use it for this game. All right, so, got a little audio here, that's nice. Let's see if I can hopefully turn that down. All right, so, LA Lakers, game two, leading 108-105. Um, Shaq just absolutely bullies Luke Longley, which I'm sure is what would probably happen in real life had these teams matched up. Ron Harper and the Bulls take a timeout. Phil Jackson doesn't know what to do. Oh my God, Luke Longley is selling today, folks. 
Eddie Jones taking him to the rack and just yamming on him. I think this thing's going to go back to Chicago 1-1. Another thing I will say, like I said, I don't, I'll look it up. I don't know when, as Scottie Pippen hits a nice little hook shot right there in the lane. I don't know when the Lakers moved to the Staples Center. I could have swore it was this season. I could have swore it was the 98-99 season. I could be wrong, though. Okay, so no, they actually didn't move to the Staples Center to the next year. So they were still playing in the forum, so we're good on that. Rick Fox out on the wing, getting guarded by Scottie Pippen. Gives it down into Shaq, and you know, you know what's going to happen here. Shaq just completely bullies Luke Longley. Jordan bringing the ball at the floor. No Kobe Bryant to be seen. I don't know where he's at. I don't know if he fouled out or what. Jordan gives it over to Pippen. Bad. You know, I mean, that was a late pass. Not sure what took him so long. Kukoc with a pick. Scotty taking Fox, and he misses it. All right, Fisher dribbles it up, getting guarded by Steve Kerr. Screen. Gives it down into Shaq, and Shaq just dunks it. Like I said, this I feel like this is what it would basically be like had these teams matched up. I think Kobe and MJ, I think MJ would get his, obviously, his Scotty over on the wing, doesn't shoot it. Um, I think Shaq would be a problem. Now, oh, nice put back there by Kukoc. I will say this. You can sit there and say, well... MJ beat Shaq in, in 96 in the Eastern Conference Finals. I'll say this. Shaq was a different animal in... Oh, my God. I don't know what he's doing there. Shaq was a different animal. He was a different beast in 99, 98, 99, than he was in 96. Um, I mean, the dude won the MVP in 2000. So he was obviously a different guy, different player. So you can't really compare those two things, I don't think. Scotty bringing the ball up. Just a terrible pass. I don't know what he's thinking there. And like I said, this thing's going to be going back to Chicago for game three. Tied 1-1. Oh, my Lord. Terrible pass there by Rick Fox. Up to Scotty Pippen. What's Scotty going to do with it? He takes it to the rack. Gets absolutely swatted by Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq's happy about it. Dickie Simpkins staring Shaq down over there on the... On the bench, Randy Brown coming in. MJ, uh, this this might be MJ's biggest challenge yet. All right, we're going to go ahead and simulate this because they're bringing in scrubs. This game's over. Lakers win by five, and that'll do it for that game. Game three, back in Chicago. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's a close one relatively close it's staying right around well it was staying right around two possessions all right bulls take a lead bulls take a big lead what is going on all right so this game's over game three goes to chicago game four Hopefully this one is a better game. I don't want it to be a blowout. Can we keep it close, please? For the content. Okay. All right, I'll take this. Four point game, two minutes and 26 seconds to go. Close enough for me. Bulls in the white unis. Is Kobe playing? Kobe is playing. He's guarding Judd Bushler. Jordan on the bench for some reason in crunch time. Scotty misses it. Rebound. Misses it again. Rebound. Rodman puts it up and puts it in. Why is MJ not in the game, though? MJ's out with six fouls. So the Bulls got to do it on their own here. They got to come back. Without the GOAT, Michael Jordan. Another issue I have with 2K Simulator, the fouls. Like, dude, the amount of foul outs is ridiculous. Kobe with a great pass there from, I think Robert Ory made that pass. 
I don't know if the Bulls can do it here. They got no they got no Michael Jordan. Terrible pass by Ron Harper. Oh, Scottie Pippen gets fouled by Robert Ory. Shaq is also fouled out. J.R. Reed's fouled out. Robert Ory's got five. Like, come on. Rodman's got five. Longley's got five. Ku coach is fouled out. Jesus, man. Who's the referees for this game? Is it Tim freaking Donaghy, dude? Come on, man. Come on, 2K. Enough with the foul outs. Robert Ory thinking to himself, damn, that was a bad foul. What was I doing? Putting Scottie Pippen at the line. Pippen hits the first. Rick Fox coming in for Travis Knight. Big free throw right here for Scotty. Hits the second one. Bulls leading the series 2-1. Can the Lakers tie this thing up and take it back to the forum? Kobe on Bushler missed it. Rebound to Rodman. We got a minute and 20 seconds to go. Pippen just taken. Taken Brian to the hoop. He missed it. Rodman gets the rebound, puts it in. We got a tie game, 103 to 103. What are we going to do? Kobe doing Kobe things. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Passes it to Fisher. Back to Kobe. Oh, my goodness, the mid-range game. Kobe Bryant hits it. We got a minute to go. Is Scotty going to come up big? Is Scotty going to be the leader here? Let's find out. Scotty dribbling. What in the world was that? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why. Oh, my goodness. This game's over. Scott, th this is why Scottie Pippen was never viewed as the leader of the Chicago Bulls. He goes down there and does some stuff like that. Scottie Pippen has lost his mind tonight. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought, I thought Kobe was going to go yamming on somebody. Makes a bad pass, gets the ball back. This game's over. Dennis Rodman's pissed. It's like, what are we doing? Well, like I said, this game is, uh, this game's over. Scotty Pippen just in clutch time. I don't know what he's doing out here. He's making bad passes, just throwing up terrible shots. Gives it to Bushler. Misses it. And that's going to do it. We're going to go ahead and simulate this game. The Lakers win 111 to 103. We got a good series on our hands. I will say this, hopefully Michael doesn't foul out and hopefully Shaq doesn't foul out. Game five in the Great Western Forum. Uh-oh. Oh boy, we got a blowout on our hands, folks. The LA Lakers annihilate the Chicago Bulls, beat them by 18 points. Let's take a look at the box score real quick. I'm not simulating round. Box score, MJ 24, Pippen 23. It's not enough. I mean, the this bench unit. I mean, Dennis Rodman, no points. That's bad. You can't be having Dennis Rodman with no points. Shaq, 35 points, 20 rebounds. Oh, my goodness. Game six in the United Center. The Bulls down 3-2. Elimination game for Jordan and the Bulls. What are they going to do? How are they going to react? And I mean, we got a close game here. 80-80 in the third quarter. Oh, the I mean, this thing is just this series has been back and forth. Bulls up 6 with 4 minutes to go. They're up 7. Up 8. All right, we got a six-point game here with a minute 26 to go. Let's jump in. Fisher bringing the ball up. The Bulls, I think they're going to force a game seven. Shaq kicks it out to Big Shot Bob. He doesn't shoot it, though. Kobe dribbling around. He's going to take a, is he gonna, yep, he's going to take a jump shot, and he hits it. Brings the Lakers within four. Michael Jordan put up 38 points tonight. Man, oh man. 
What's he got in store here? He dribbles to the left. He's got Kobe on him on the top of the key. They bring the double team. Passes over to Scotty. Looks like the Bulls are just fine with wasting the clock here. Scotty takes it to the rim, gets swatted, and they call a foul. This guy's like, yeah, you fouled me. Scotty, a big game for him, too. 23 points. 50% shooting. Wearing those 2K generics. Well, here we go. Big shots here for Scotty. Scotty, mid-season, said he's going to test free agency after this season's over. He hits the first free throw. Will the Bulls be able to bring him back? That is the question. He came back last year. Decided to give Phil and the Bulls one more shot to see if they can win their seventh championship. And they're on the cusp of taking the Lakers to a seventh game in the Great Western Forum. Scotty hits it. Bulls up six. Timeout by the Lakers. Throw it into Robert Ori. Ori over to Kobe. Kobe picked up by Jordan. Spin move. Takes it to the lane. A little crossover move. Lakers just wasting time. Derek Fisher hits a three. And we got a three-point game here. Rodman passes it into Harper. And the Lakers foul him. Ron Harper, big free throws right here. Kobe, for some reason, yelling at Derek Fisher, even though Derek Fisher just hit a huge shot. That's Kobe for you, I guess. 27 seconds to go. Ron Harper, I don't know. He looks like his palms are sweaty there. He's a little nervous, as he should be. These are the biggest free throws of his NBA career. Bends the knees. Good form. Bricks it. That is the look of a scared man, ladies and gentlemen. He just needs one. He's got to get this one. And he hits it. All right. Bulls up four. 27 seconds to go. Another timeout called. This team's got to be running out of timeouts. Kobe, I mean, Kobe was wide open there. He should have kept running. He would have had a wide open three-pointer. Robert Ory in the corner for three. Missed it. Rebound Longley. Gives it to Rodman for some reason. Rodman's going to be at the free throw line. And now Kobe and Derek are shaking hands. I'm so confused by, I mean, this, this team just seems toxic. All right, Dennis Rodman. Not known as a great free throw shooter. Let's take a look at his form here. Tossing the ball up three times. Bends the knees. And he hits the free throw. Look at the focus, the determination in Dennis Rodman's eyes. Oh, he misses that one. Shaq with the rebound. Gives it to Campbell. Throws it over to Kobe. Oh, my goodness. What a pass. Kobe with the lob to Shaq. And they give the ball into Harper again. Not sure why. They had Michael Jordan over there. Ron Harper at the line. Hits the first one, nothing but the bottom of the net. Lakers bringing in Eddie Jones. Sending out, I don't know who that guy is. No idea who that is. Harper misses it, rebound to Ori. Ori gives it to Bryant. They got 10 seconds to go. They need to hurry up and figure something out. Eddie Jones puts up a three, missed it, rebound Shaq, kicks it out for some reason. Eddie Jones again misses, rebound to Rodman, and that's going to do it. We're going to a game seven. Unbelievable. This is exactly what we wanted. We wanted a great series, and we're getting it here. Can the Bulls do it again? Can they find a way to win an NBA championship again? What a 
game. Michael Jordan, 38 points, 5 assists. Scotty, 25 points. Kukoc, 25 points. Shaq had 44 and 15. The man can't do any more than what he's doing. He went 16 for 18. Unreal. Look at him. I mean, dude is like, what else can I do? What else can I do, Kobe? I don't know, Shaq. I mean, dude, you've you've done everything that you can do, man. We're going to a game seven, and I'm gonna save that for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is this has been a lot of fun. I mean, let's see in the next video who's gonna win this NBA championship. Is it gonna be the Lakers? Is it gonna be the Bulls? We'll find out in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!